All right, let's see if we can do a little bit better than that. That was uh, kind of pressing that last run. So we're going to do another run. And let's see if I can actually, you know, do good this time. I mean, I got, you know, substantially far, I guess, but... Yeah, basically there's, you know, some things about roguelike design that, you know, uh, I have to sort of take into account here, like, I can't, like, sort of, like, you know, just do it, something nonchalantly. If I have, like, scrolls and potions, like, you know, that many flooding my, uh, my pack, I really should be trying to do my best to identify them. Taking the time to actually go around to identify them. That's basically what happened to the last episode there. All right, no path for fair exploration. Let's just go over to here. And we'll start using up stuff. Let's try the scrolls. There's a scroll of enchantment. Um, I'll say, I guess enchant the, uh, the skill mill, I guess. Oh, there's a malevolent force on the scale mill. So that was actually cursed um, scale mill there. Now wearing a scale mill. Okay, that's interesting. I'm gonna keep the the leather armor, I guess here, but for the most part, um, yeah. Basically, I'm gonna keep the leather mill and the scale mill just for a simple reason that. Uh, if like the acid, you know, attacks from like a uh, acid mound, you know, start to hurt these things, I'll be able to switch over to like the other one. I wonder if this will be, you know, substantially better protection than leather armor. It says it will be. All right, so uh, that's on. Let's use some potions. Potion visibility. Potion of Fire Immunity. Potion to Attack Magic. Uh oh, these are bad potions. Well, I know that they do stuff. And these are good scrolls here, so I'll avoid using them for now. There's a rapier down there I'll want to maybe equip before starting to enchant you know, anything else. Uh, the cobalt sees me, so I have to die. The jackal sees me, so it has to die. There's bandit mail. Overlapping strips of metal horizontally encircled. A chain mail base, offering an additional layer of protection at the cost of greater weight. Keep that too. Feed a rat. There's the rapier. All right, good. So everything else is done. Let's go back over here now. And I'm gonna, you know, test a little bit more of this stuff that I basically have picked up. All right, I'm gonna put on a rapier. I can barely lift it. Three more strength would be ideal. And this is skill mail vulnerability. What does that mean? Glowing runes of vulnerability adorn the skill mail while it is worn. Inbound attacks will inflict twice as much damage on you. Okay, nope. Drop that immediately. We're not gonna put that on. If that's what the, uh, you know, the Malevolent Force does on it. Um, 
Do I dare maybe put this on? Oh, that's a cursed one too. So now I've got cursed armor on. Cursed bandit armor. And that increases my maximum life. That's very nice. As a scroll of discord. That aggravate all the monsters. That's going to make everything disappear around me. Uh, that was uh, a protective golden light that basically removed the curse. Oh, that's protective protect armor. So, now if I want to, I can take this off, I think. If it's bad. Let's see what it is first. I'm going to try and let that identify itself. Then take it off. Scroll identify. Well, I can use this now. Um, heck, why not? So, it's just a negative one bad armor. So, it basically gives me six... Um, negative, it basically gives me six armor is what this is giving me now. But you know, it's still better than like, you know, uh, the letter armor I've basically got. And this is actually immune to, uh, um, you know, acid at this point. So I can just probably drop the letter armor. That's like my go-to armor, I guess, until I get something better in it. And why the heck do I still have you? Drop you. And okay, we got ourselves a scroll of identify. I got two move, move potions over here. Oh, there's a potion of confusion. So that's what this potion is all about, confusion. Oh crap, this is uh. Not going to go away. This is bad. I'm very confused. So now I get to be confused. Good to know. You can actually, you know, crystallize, um, you know, a door. All right, well. There's a little bit of identification actually going on there. There's a nickel wand. Let's see what the wand does to this guy if I throw it at him. Uh, did that do anything? I used it once. So what did it do? Did that make the rat stronger perhaps? That might be what this one's all about. I think it might improve allies. And this rapier is I think hurting me a little bit because you know It requires a certain amount of strength to use it. Got a topaz ring. Why not? We'll put that on. I'm not wearing a topaz ring. There's a protection. Um, charm down there. And those guys are sleeping over there. There we go. Got this protection charm. Four copper rings have been joined into a tetrahedron. The contract to Ollie is warm to a touch. You found it at depth 3. When you use the charge, we'll shoot you up to 20 turns against up to 20 damage and recharge in 308 turns. There's a door key. Okay, we're not going to screw around with bloat, so. Alright, what does this do if I pick it up? Uh, 
Oh, it's going to collapse the floor. Well, I might be uh, visiting the ground in a moment. Because you know, there's like no escape. Goodbye, cruel world. Crash right to death four. There we go, scroll of enchanting, how nice. Scroll of enchanting, scroll of enchanting. Okay, good. Time to use these scrolls of enchanting to uh, improve my rapier perhaps a little bit. So you know, like I can actually use the rapier a little bit. I think. Maybe I actually use it on the bad armor. Actually, no, let's use this. We're going to apply this on the bad armor that's in my inventory. And on this guy. So that's a. That's basically what bad armors are supposed to, I guess, to be at. Naturally, seven armor for me. But you know, it does not enchant or anything. This one is enchanted with, like, you know, uh, it can't be corroded by acid, so. We're going to apply this to this bad armor. We're just going to make this bad armor a little bit better than what it is. So now it's, uh, you know, almost good enough for me to uh, use without any penalty. You know, we should just drop these armors here because I don't need them. The lighter armor or the bad armor near is good. And apparently you can't drop more than one item on the floor. So that's worth noting. Makes sense, I guess. Oh shoot, I did have a scroll protect armor. Well, that's good to know. I've got protect armor if I want to. Well, whatever. Maybe if I find some better armor than like this, and like say, you know, play, play armor, I can like put it on. Oh well. Waste of stuff. Yep, waste of stuff. Killer rat. Oh, it's still my nickel wand. Hit the monkey. Yeah, it's worth knowing. I have the rapier so I can do like lunge attacks, which hurt a lot. There's a net trap over here. There's a bloat down over there. And apparently a bloat saw me. I guess that makes sense. I've got stealth of so much. Alright, let's go up here. Lunge. Well, let's defeat him. There's a mango again. How nice. Oh, there's a goblin conjurer over there. Blank. Nothing to it. Kill that guy easily. All right, what's in here? Want a slowness, want a negation. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Alright, so that lets me recharge my stuff faster. Blinking, whip, 
empowerment. I think we'll take the one of blinking. Because teleportation is cool. And my computer seems to be a little bit slow for some reason. And that bolt's right there, and it sees me. Well, it saw me. Nope, it sees me still. Where it's not, it can catch me is another story, though. Oh, boy. Pink jelly. Feed of pink jelly. At least my armor's pretty good, so I guess we're holding up a little bit better against attacks now. Oh wow, it's a lot of stuff around me. And yeah, why not? There's a bloat now, right there. One of a bloat will see me. The bloat wants to kill me. Oh, it hurts. At least that toad's being stupid. Not gonna heal up in his like little healing spores here a little bit. And hurt that toad as it you know comes after me. Oopsie. The two of them. Did not mean to do both of them. Oh well. Alright, here's a question. Where's the secret door? Wow, that's all that caustic acid over there. Yes, I know there's a secret door somewhere to get to the bottom area over there, the bottom right area. Might be something on the left too. Let's search over here maybe. There we go, there's a door. Money! Oops, I feel weak from hunger. That's not good. Forgot to eat. I'm not hungry enough to fully enjoy a mango, apparently. Well, whatever. I just ate the mango. Splat! I hit the toe of a vicious lunge. I'm hallucinating. Wait for us to go away a little bit. What's the rest button to rest for 100 turns? Zed. There we go. That's gone. There's an alarm trap apparently in here. We know what that will probably do. Or at least I do. Wow, it's lots of jackals. And a monkey! Wow, it's lots of stuff. Oh god, caustic gas. Why if I'll hurt any of the, you know, jackals over there? That'd be funny. It spreads out far enough that, you know, gets to the jackals. Well, they saw me.
All right, here's what I want to do here. Oops, they got close enough. Uh, or I got close enough that they saw me that time. I was going to throw a dart at them, but this works too. I just want to fight these guys before, you know, go any further. A scroll is shattering. The blast of sorcery unleashed by a scroll will alter the physical structure of the nearby stone, causing it to dissolve away um, over the ensuing minutes. See the monkey down there now. There we go, the monkey's dead. Splat! Oh, it stole my one negation. Apparently that's what I had. And Sally, for him, he's stupid. Okay, I thought that was uh, a falling room there. It is a falling room. Oh, okay. I want to get that. I don't know what it is, but I want to get this lower uh, room because there's an unknown rook on it. So, I guess this could be a good or bad armor. No idea if it's good or bad or anything. We just know that it's got an unknown runic on it. So let's maybe just equip it. And we'll see what it does. Yes, that's what I'll say. You know what? Let's use up our scrolls in here. So there's a scroll recharging. A surge of angry courses for the pack. Recharging your staff, staff and charm. And that's a scroll of teleportation, so that sent me all the way over here. There's a bloat down there, apparently. A sleeping bloat. Yes, I stabbed that purposely because uh, there's an open, you know, mouse space there, so I was feeling cocky about it. Wait for the gas to go away a little bit now, and... Good. Done. I think that worked quite well. Obviously there's goodies on this floor. And there's a goblin pack over there, because two goblins have met up. Or maybe not. Or yes, they are. Hey, I got a ring of awareness. So, wearing this ring will enable you to notice hidden secrets, traps, secrets, doors, and hidden levers more often and from a greater distance. That's what that's doing for me. And I guess luckily I'm in a dark enough area that that guy didn't see me. That goblin's all the way down there. I see no path for further exploration. I'm assuming that maybe there might be a door over here, perhaps. Because there's like no... Um, access to like this room from over here. Damn, this rapier is good, but you know, not good at the same time.
Yes, I see stuff in there. Of course, you know, there's something I could do here, perhaps. We could just shatter the wall. Maybe it'll let me get in. Yep, that let me in. Alright, there's a door key over there. A flail. A nerve ring of awareness. And a wand negation. I think we'll get the door key. Now I want to get up to here. And in here we've got Staff of Entrancement, Staff of Discord, Staff of Tunneling, Staff of Firebolt, and Staff of Blinking. Entrancement is basically Charm, I assume. Oh, wait, this is just, you know, mildly mirror my movements, so... Not really charming, but it's close enough. Interesting, but no, I don't think we'll get that. Um... Telling could be useful. I already have a blinking um, want or staff, I think. So, staff of blinking. I don't think I need, I need another one of those. Let's go for staff of fireball again, just because I'm, you know, I love them. I like burning things. Burning things is cool. I see a monkey, apparently. Let's stab the monkey a little bit. And he's dead. And you know what? Let's use up these potions and find out what they're all about. So, that was the scent. So that's going to send me right to the floor. Um, you know, the next floor. Splat on my ass. Luckily, the door, you know, to get out is right there. So that's good. There's an arrow turret there. Kill this arrow turret. How do I miss an arrow turret? Yeah, they shouldn't, you know, make it so that you miss with an arrow turret, I don't think. I see a bog and explosive gas over there. I see an acid mounds uh, sleeping over there. What does this scroll do? It must be a scroll of remove curse, but I don't have anything cursed in my inventory. I think we're gonna keep the scrolls of enchanting for a moment, and I'm gonna try and get a better armor than uh, you know the stuff I've been getting so far. Oh, I'm gonna burn a little bit. Eh, why not? Let's use the other potion. And that's a potion of strength, which is cool. Hmm. Apparently I picked up a warp pike when I wasn't looking. That's interesting. Uh, let's put in the warp pike. Uh, so I need five more strength to basically wield this thing, but uh, at least now I'll be able to identify it. That's why I'm picking it up, to identify it. Who knows, maybe I'll use the warp pike. Uh, what does this warp pike do? Basically, it's a long steel pole end ending in a razor sharp point. The reach of the pike permits you to simultaneously attack an adjacent enemy and an enemy directly behind it. And, um, you know, it'll re reveal my secrets after I defeat 20 enemies with it. Or after I use an identify po um, you know, scroll on it. Which I could do. Now we're just going to burn a little bit here. And there's a wandering monkey. Whoopsie, I forgot I don't have the ability to, like, you know, attack stuff, you know, on the fly there anymore with the, with the warp pike instead of the rapier. There's some gold. That 
acid mound. There's another acid mound. Um, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go up here and explore a little bit. So pile of filthy effects. Okay, so I see a bunch of goblins there. There might be something in that room. Cast a haste spell though, which is annoying. All right, let's get these guys to come after me and I'll defeat them. Okay, they're gonna see me now, I hope. There we go, he's dead. There's two enemies to feed with my uh, war pike. And he's actually waiting for me now. This, uh... Ow. Okay, let's pump all this thing. Ow. There are four enemies to feed with the, uh, the war pike. Yeah, this is where, like, you know... You don't have, you don't get any like you know experience for killing stuff with like your know, weapons or like you know your character, but your your weapons can get identified by killing stuff. So there's actually a purpose for it. Kill that guy. Gas mount up there still sleeping. What to do, what to do. So anti-magic negation. This will uh, strip creak, um, a creature of a host of magical traits, including flight, invisibility, and assisted corrosiveness. Maybe if I'm lucky, this will um, strip that acid mound of the ability to uh, corrode stuff. So let's try, you know, using one negation on this guy. I hope that worked. Well, I defeat it, so there's another dead thing. How am I doing with my war pike? We need to defeat 14 more enemies with it to find out what it's all about. I guess we need to identify, you know, stuff for the the uh, leather armor up there. I can't just identify it on the fly. There's a pip load up there. Potion of life over there. I hit something, I missed something. Potion of strength, we're gonna drink that right away. All right, now we have uh, more strength. Missed the eel. I hit the eel. This will be fun. All right, pit bloats. I think they make the floor descend. The rare subsidies of bloat is filled with particular vapor that, if released, will cause the floor to vanish out from beneath it. So, that'll make the floor descend if I kill this guy. Do I want to dare do that? Probably not. Uh... Oh yeah, actually, no, let's actually do that. We're going to basically kill this guy in melee. And I basically did that for the simple reason that I had a shield on there, so I could protect myself. 
I mean, it worked. It killed it. That protective charm was recharged after a while. Goblin Conjure down there does suck, so I don't want to stick around to fight that with my Warpike. Alright, we got Black Potion. No idea what it'll do. Uh, Potion of Levitation. That makes me fly a little bit. Or flow in the air, rather. Uh, yes. This is turning out to be a really great run, at least. I wonder how long until I die. Oh, you know what? I'm levitating, so I can actually levitate over lava. That's one of the few times you'll see me able to do that. Levitating over la lava. I can also levitate over uh, war too, but we're about out of levitation, I think, so... We'll go this way. There is a goblin worshipping something, so... That's just hurting me a little bit, so... Damn it, die, you damn vampire bat. Um, firebolt this bastard. Okay, there we go. Damn, those hurt. I'm hungry, so you know what? Let's actually eat some food. We'll eat that lovely food right now. That really hurt. Oh, look at that. It actually uh, identified itself. Absorption. Glowing ruins of absorption adorn the lair armor. It will reduce the damage of inbound attacks by a random amount between 0 and 2, which is 5% of your current maximum health. Okay, so there's what that lair armor does. And honestly, that's really crappy. So let's just remove this. I'll put on the uh, much better bandit armor here. I mean, this is not going to stack up very well against the um, power of a bad armor. I still need to get 12 kills with my warp pike to identify, so let's get back to doing that, I guess. Yes, um, what to do here? I'm thinking. Kind of wish I levitate over to, uh, Attack those other things. Oops, uh, a toad is now on me. Now I'm going to hallucinate a little bit. Oh, it's a vampire bat. And I let it in. Damn it, um, that's bad. Vampire bat. Burn him, hopefully. Okay, he burned to death. There we go, we uh, hit that guy with uh, flames. And there, he burned to death too. I don't think that counts as kills for the warp pike though. Or maybe it did. At least one of them, maybe. There's an ogre, apparently, in the place. Don't think it can get to me, but there's an ogre around. Okay, where are you? You're right there. I dispatched that guy, catch him unaware. The ogre's right down there. 
It's gonna be really bad if that ogre decides to come up to me. All right, we got lucky and I managed to uh, catch him unaware. Sort of. He's not really taking, you know, much of hits here, so. Damn, we're out of charges for now. Let's use this. He cuddled me. I lost my shield. Hit the ogre. What can the ogre do to me? It can hit me for almost half my health. Defeat me in two of my hits. And at the same time, I can uh, typically hit him for a quarter of a chance for a lot of his health. Hmm. Let's back away from the ogre here, perhaps, and uh, let's throw this at him. Maybe if I'm lucky, he'll get confused. Want to run into the lava. Yeah, there we go. We uh, killed him instantly with lava. Oh crap, it's burning. That really hurt. Yes, that very much hurt quite a bit. Confusion burns, apparently. Okay, that guy's dead. Crap, that's a, a toad. And it did see me, so... Apply... Get down over here. We're just gonna stay here for a moment. I'm gonna try and heal up a little bit. I see a goblin. I still see the goblin. There's the Goblin Conjurer over there. This guy saw me, so I can kill him. Okay, that guy saw me, so he's going to summon a bunch of crap to try and kill me. Let's just go this way. For a moment. And Special Blade followed me there. Does that count of kills, I wonder? Maybe. There, I got more retraction, I guess. There we go, we splashed that uh, Goblin Conjurer, so he's out of the way. Six more enemies with my Warp Pike. I really have to worry about food, I think, at this point. I'm getting really hungry. Because I haven't really advanced that far. In a, you know, the past little while. Goblin Tome's still there, so it needs to die. That counted, and no, no enemy there, so, you know, it's just a totem, it's not scary. Ah, crap, this stuff is... Damn, the ogre saw me.
No something handed floor, which is very nice. All right, you know what? Let's try uh, blinking. Over to here. That sends some, sends some water, I guess. I feel the eel. Does that count as a kill at least? Yes, five more kills of the warp pike and we'll identify it. That Asman's over there. Oh, this is gonna degrade if I attack it. No. Wow, it didn't see me all that time, that ass amount. It just mildly followed me, but didn't actually follow me. I was lucky. <laughs> 